Welfare is a, a huge challenge across Europe. People are living longer, their needs are changing, and we have less money to, to support people. We want to understand how people across Europe feel about welfare, what opportunities it gives them, what challenges it presents them with, and how they'd like welfare to be delivered in the future. In a normal research project, we make some questionnaires or interview topic lists and then go to people and ask for information. In, in, in the user voice, it is not us, uh, the researchers, who make the questions and who ask people how they think about it, but the people themselves are telling their own stories. Community reporting is all about giving people a voice. So what we've done is actually ask the people what they, what they feel about a particular service or a particular structure. But we do it through their own storytelling and their own approach and their own perspective. The story is at the heart of this training journey. And the aim here is to give the learners the power and the tools to tell their own story in their own way. Our training activities are designed to tap into the learners' creativity, to trigger their curiosity and to allow joint exploration and problem solving. As part of WP5, we captured user voice across 10 different countries. In total, we trained up 100 community reporters and created 118 stories. I went to Athens to deliver the NSC training. Over the two days, um, I saw them really come out of their shells, saw them make connections. Uh, amongst themselves, start to come up with ideas as to how they might actually use training in future um, to benefit um, people in, in their workplace and people that they also uh, were delivering services to as well. After we gathered the stories with the community reporters, we then started to analyse them. And to do this, we looked at each individual story that we gathered in terms of the topics that people were talking about, the ways in which that people were talking about these topics, and also the wider context of their stories so we could better understand why these topics were so important to them. In terms of the NC project key themes, personalisation came out really strongly in user voice. Just making sure that as a social worker that you can just ring up and say, oh, I'm having this sort of problem and they can, you know, help you with that problem. They respect me and they know how it's hard to move from my land. What also emerged strongly from the stories was a sense that peer support networks were really key in people's lives. I've got a lot of support from my church because they are, they've always been there for me, more than the other professionals. Overall, I've not found a lot of support. The support I've had is my mum and my brother, my other brother, Jamie. Other than that, I think we'd have all sunk. Así que como hemos sobrevivido, la gente que estamos como yo, pues evidentemente primero con ayuda familiar, que es algo que prácticamente no se sabe, pero gracias a que mi generación, a la generación del baby boom, Eso significa que muchos de nuestra generación somos miembros de familias numerosas. Starting a new school in some other countries, it's not that much easy. But if we learn the language, it might be easy for us to speak to others. Tekemään käsillä, niin sillä tapaa ihmisiä, jotka ovat samasta asiasta Evidence is really important, and policymakers are always looking for evidence about what works to hear real human stories um, and I think policy makers if you give them that material they can imagine their cousin their grandma in that kind of situation and it helps them to connect better with the with the evidence and the story that you're trying to tell them I mean we need to find a voice for social economy actors so I think this could be for us a way to experiment how much we are able to incorporate uh, real life experiences in our narratives dialogues in a more traditional economic framework. The user voices that we've, we've gathered through the project will illustrate some of our key research findings. They'll also help us talk to policymakers about how people in the real world want to experience welfare, what they see as the opportunities and challenges for the future. Mm -hmm.